Hello everyone! Welcome back! Welcome back to the final stream and we're not gonna waste any time because uh, I have a hard out at 8 o'clock so I literally have just one hour to try to get this knuckles done. So once again guys, if uh, you want to ask me a question, go to the community tab. Go to the community tab, ask me your questions there because if I do clip out, if I do clip out this uh, video or clip out your the answer to your question, I do want to make sure that you're credited properly, okay? So I want you to ask there so I know where to, how to uh, credit you, okay? Because uh, these chats, instead of me trying to go find it in the chat, uh, it's right here, okay? So why don't we go ahead? We are going to draw uh, Knuckles. Let me just do a quick uh, Knuckles. Google shirt. Uh, shirt. <laughs> shirt. Uh, knuckles. Um, uh, Sonic. Here, just, just so I can get the base of... I put sonk, knuckles sonk. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Sonic here. Okay, now we're now we're gonna have some fun. Now we're gonna have some fun. Here we go, guys. You guys ready? This is gonna look weird. You thought these guys look weird. This is gonna look weird. This is gonna look weird, guys. So let's get going. But even before I do that, let's go ahead and answer uh, the next question. Let's go ahead and answer the next question here. And the next question is from my friend Angel Bob. My buddy Angel Bob is back. Angel Bob, uh, 1977. Who are your favorite Transformers? Uh, great question here. Uh, Decepticon and Autobot. Mine are Grimlock. Amazing choice. Ravage. Amazing choice. Uh, Generation 1 is my jam. Any thoughts on the 1986 animated movie? Okay, so wonderful question, my friend. And Angel Bob knows me really well. Uh, so, with that in mind, let's let's uh, go ahead and talk about it. Um, let's talk about the '89 movie before before I get to my favorite uh, before I get to my favorite. Uh, as you can see what I'm doing here. He's gonna be big, guys. He's gonna be big. He's gonna be big. Oops, you didn't see that down here. He's going to have a fist down here. The 89 movie, to me as a kid, was scary. When I was a kid, scared me a little bit. Of course, we had the death of Optimus Prime in that movie. Spoilers for a 30-year-old uh, movie. Uh, and let's be honest, and my, my buddy John Campia talks about this a lot. The reason they killed off all those characters was because they wanted all new toys. They wanted to make way for all the new generation of toys. Uh, when these were the characters that brought us to the dance in the first place. So uh, I was sad. I was, I was sad that uh, the, these characters died. Okay. But you know what? I, I really liked that movie, even though it, it scared me. Even though it scared me as a kid. I really liked it as, as a movie. But at the same time, uh, I did like the new characters though. Okay. So... I won't say I didn't like the new characters. I like I I am a huge Ultra Magnus fan. I love Ultra Magnus. I love that character. Um, I love drawing Ultra Magnus. He's a lot of fun to draw, even right. So no, I, I even like Hot Rod. You know, Hot Rod is annoying as he is. I know a lot of people don't like Hot Rod. I kind of like Hot Rod. I thought that was funny. So. <laughs> I like Derek. Derek the Swapping Cow says, The Incredible Nux. There, there you go. <laughs> you know, uh, wasn't the biggest uh, fan of the Gal, I mean, what they did with Megatron, turning him to Galvatron and stuff like that, but, but you know, I, I was okay with the movie. So let's talk about my favorite uh, Autobots and Decepticons here. I would say Soundwave. Love Soundwave. Love Soundwave. I love uh, Goldbug. Goldbug. I wouldn't even say Bumblebee. Goldbug. I like Goldbug. Okay. <laughs> you know why I Goldbug? Again, nostalgia. It was one of my first uh, Transformers toys I ever got was Goldbug. Uh, but I believe the first Transformer toy was uh, the... Um... Oh, what what's it called again? Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank here. Maybe you can help me, Angel Bob. The one that... Um... Top Spin. That's his name. Top Spin. Top Spin. It was one of those... Uh, car um... Transformers there, you pull it back and it will drive by itself and then will flip and transform in midair. And uh, 
and I, you know, it's it's definitely uh, it's definitely one of the more fun uh, Transformers I ever got when I was a kid. Uh, Cup as well, because you know we weren't, uh, you know, you know we were, we were kind of I won't say we were poor poor, but we were you know we didn't have a lot growing up. So when I, when I was able to get one of the bigger Transformers, it meant a big deal for me. And I remember for my birthday, my mom, uh, she got me a um, uh, a cup. So speaking of speaking of uh, Transformers the movie, uh, that character Cup, uh, that was one of the first like uh, real full size toys I ever gotten when I was a kid. So. Uh, so that that toy means means a lot to me. That that cup. It's not just, it's not be, just because of the character, but because of the sacrifice. I know my mom, and my dad, did so that that uh, me and my my sisters would have a better life. You know, I, I think about I think about that all the time, how they sacrificed so that, uh, you know, we could have a better go at it. You know, so that that represents that as well. So that's definitely one of my uh, favorite toys in that sense. But you, you asked me my favorite uh, heroes and villains. So uh, let's go Metroplex. Gotta love Metroplex. You know why Metroplex? Is go, it always goes back to the toys. Always go back. Always goes back to the toys. Metroplex was one of those toys where I would have loved, 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 loved to have had a Metroplex toy. I had friends who had the Metroplex toy. I would love to have that Metroplex toy, but it was so expensive, especially for that time. It was so expensive that you know, I, you know, we couldn't afford a Metroplex toy. It was very expensive. So, so Metroplex definitely won. Uh, in terms of the villain, let's go, you know, Megatron. I like, I like Megatron. Um, Soundwave, love Soundwave. Uh, what, what, what's his name? Shockwave. I like Shockwave. Shockwave always looked cool to me. Shockwave was always a cool, and even even a toy as a toy. Shockwave was really 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 cool to me. So, uh, but you know, I think that's about it for now. So, so let's do that. Yes, I am. I gave Knuckles a gigantic head. I did. I will admit that. I gave. I, I made Knuckles a giant. I made Knuckles a giant. <laughs> I made Knuckles a giant. Marvel style, man. I, I'm I'm allowed interpretation. I'm allowed interpretation, even though I know he's probably the same size as Mario. I want to make I want to make it cool, you know. I want to make it cool, right? So it's Marvel style. I get to choose the proportions. Nobody else gets to choose but me. <laughs> you know when I talk about excuses, don't don't give those excuses to your Marvel editor, okay? If there were so Sonic comics and then the editor said, why did you draw? You shouldn't be drawing him that big. I'm just going to say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. You're right. Yes, sir. You're right. He shouldn't be. Uh, he shouldn't be that big, sir. He shouldn't look like that, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can I have a job, sir? No, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> there you go. All right. So. That is my question to that. So thank you very much, my friend. Uh, I'm going to get to inking very shortly here because uh, I want to make sure I finish this in an ample amount of time. Uh, so the next question here. Uh, let's see if we have any new questions. Again, guys, if you want to ask a question, uh, please do go ahead and ask it in the community tab. Okay, so let's go. Next question here. Uh, let's see here. Whoops, did I ask the answer that already? Oh, there's a few more that came in. Okay. Oh, there, or no, no, no. It's... Uh, not sorted properly. I'm like, I answered that already. I answered that already. Uh, let's see here. Okay. From XGXH. XGXH. He asks, Hi, James. So I was wondering how do you draw and detail in your artwork so well? Because I'm trying to draw the gorilla in a mech suit you did. <laughs> and I want to know how you did the detail. Uh, part of it, again, a lot of that is experience. A lot of that, again, guys, 2020. I'm coming up on 22 years of professional art. I said 25 years. I guess you could call that professional. If you actually think about it, I was actually, uh, what does that mean, the term professional? 
Professional means paid. The very first paid gig I had, and actually I think somebody asked me this question before, I just never answered it. The very first paid uh, project I did was way back when I was, I would like to say 16 years old. 16. I was part of this uh, comic studio. It was called Shock Studios back in the day, a long, long, long time ago. Okay. And it was just a bunch of guys who could draw to get together and then work on comic books, work on comic books. And uh, I would go there during high school. So what happened was, you know, that comic book I told you guys about that I did when I was in high school, I actually put those in stores. Me and my buddy, Mark Michael, you guys know him. When we were teenagers, we'd go around to stores and ask them if they would, uh, they would sell our little zines. So we would photocopy them. We would photocopy them. And some of the store managers were so nice. Uh, they put them in their stores. So, and then we would split the revenue. So they would get, we would do like a 50, 50 split, right? Because you know, they, you know, how's somebody going to buy if they can't see it? So we would do a 50, 50 split and, uh, they would come in, uh, people would come in buy and buy the comic. Now I sold a, a few of them. I sold a few of them, not many. I sold a few, but one guy saw it and then he tried to contact me and then he asked me, he asked me if I want to draw this book that he was working on. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys the book because we had a little bit of a falling out. But uh, so I drew this uh, comic book for him. This is my first ever comic book I've ever drawn uh, in a professional manner. And he paid me for it. Not very well. I think for the whole thing, I think for the whole thing, um, he only paid me like a few hundred dollars for the whole thing. But I guess that that would count as my first professional work, right? I think that would count as my first professional work. So if you count that, I've been drawing, and that was when I was 16. Yeah, I've been drawing for professionally for over 30 years, if you, if you put it that way. If you put it that way. But uh, where was I going with that? I forgot your question. <laughs> but in terms of the detail, yeah, that's from years of practicing, years from studying other artists, years from, uh, you know, figuring out what kind of styles I liked, what I didn't like. Uh, Stuff that made me happy. Now, I will admit to you guys, detail does not make a good drawing. It doesn't. I said that in the last stream. Detail, just because something is detailed, does not mean, does not mean that it makes the drawing good. Uh, I remember when I was at Dreamwave, we held a, uh, we were looking for another background artist. And I agreed to help with that search. And um, there were some people who put, you know, who submitted these backgrounds. And they put so much detail in them, like like every single blade of grass type thing, type detail. Like they put every little blade of grass they, they drew in there. But unfortunately, their perspective was completely off. Their per perspective made no sense. It was going everywhere. It, so it didn't matter how many lines they put in. Like sometimes lines can help you get away and help you hide things. But for the most part, for some people, it just doesn't. It just, it's just like, uh, as we say, polishing a turd, as we say, <laughs> polishing a piece of poop. Um, that's, uh, all it looked like. And, you know, so detail in itself, uh, as fun as it is, it does not make or break a drawing. It's, it's a dress. It's, um, icing on the cake. That's what I like to call it. Icing on the cake. All the little lines I add. So like all these little extra bits here and there, all the li extra lines here, that would mean nothing. All of this little extra detail I, I put here, all the lines, uh, all the lines uh, there, all of that means nothing. All of that means nothing if the uh, structure isn't correct. It would just look weird. Didn't matter how many lines you put on. So uh, in terms of the actual detail itself, that comes with time. Uh, you know, and look at more, more things like look at things like gears, look at things like car motors, like look at little things that uh, kind of will help you uh, come up with new new uh, ideas. Oops, turn the music off. There you go. Coming up with new ideas and how to create things. So uh, definitely get the structure down first before you start adding all the little lines and details. OK, that's very, very important. So I'm looking for my knuckles, knuckles. Uh, Okay, so I'll add more. And stuff there like that. Okay. 
So hopefully that answers your question there, my friend. Uh, let's see here. Next question. Next question. Oh, my camera turned off. Next question. Oh, I keep losing the question. Here we go. Next question. Uh, M N B D Cheetah asks, and by, by the way, guys, once again, if you guys want to ask a question, go to the community tab and ask your questions there. Okay. Uh, N B D Cheetah says, "Can you make a Five Nights at Freddy's Marvel style?" Um, maybe. That's one thing a lot of people have been asking me. Now, again, I'm not too too familiar with the game, but the animatronics and all that stuff—it seems like something I'd be, I'd actually like doing. So I might be doing something like that uh sooner than later but we'll see okay so you, it's one of those things you never know maybe maybe we'll do it uh i'm not sure when but i would say uh that maybe sooner than others maybe so uh we'll, we'll just leave it at maybe 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 i will maybe i will maybe maybe i will i don't remember i won't there you go <laughs> <laughs> uh let's let's go here um, Mr. Broken, hero or villain? Uh, who, me? I'm a hero! Okay, Riley asks, James, what would be your advice? Okay, this is, the, we're getting, we're getting, uh, very serious here, okay? And, uh, uh, Riley, I'm hoping this isn't you. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'll, I'll answer this the best I can. Uh, also, no, guys, I'm not a, a psychologist, I'm not a therapist, I'm just a dude here, uh, you're trying to learn how to draw, trying to draw with you guys. So uh, someone asked me here a very, very personal question. And I, I'm hoping that this particular thing doesn't really relate to you. But uh, let, let's see how I can help. Okay. So hey, James, what would be your advice if you are uh, bullied? Okay. And let, let me turn off the music for this. I don't know what music's playing, but I, I don't want the music to affect what I'm going to say here. Okay. If you're bullied and called a nerd by some of your closest friends, just because you draw on stuff. Uh, you like light in comics and action figs and tell them you shouldn't do that because they think teen years is when you should stop doing uh, that stuff. Um, may I say, first of all, that that surprises me. It kind of does in this day and age. Like that was around a lot when I was younger, right? When I was, um, when I was uh, younger, of course, you were looked down on when, when you re read comics, right? Like, all this Marvel stuff being in the pop culture, that wasn't around when I was younger. When I was in high school, cool kids don't uh, read comic books, right? Cool kids don't draw, right? They'll be like, wow, in art class, but then when you're doing it alone, you're the, you're the loser. You're, you're the introvert. You're... Just there. May I say, first of all, if your friends are saying that to you, they're not real friends. They're really not. They're not. They're not good friends. If they say that to you, if it's especially if it's something that you enjoy, especially when, especially now, when there's millions of TikTokers out there, millions of of kids making it as artists already at such an, a young age. Especially now, especially in the in in the days of NFTs, right? Where artists are now making millions upon millions of dollars doing artwork, right? You could, you know, you could tell them, hey, look, it's a business. People are making millions of dollars, even young age. How about that young kid in India? The young kid, was it in India, I believe? Made millions of dollars off an NFT. Off an NFT. Now, the NFT market definitely isn't what it was last year. Uh, in fact, it's gone down a lot. But people are making serious money doing uh, nfts now but i will say if they're saying that to you they're not your real friends they really aren't or they're just jealous that you have something you like to do and they don't okay uh they think your teen years is when you stop doing that stuff that's the best time to do that stuff and it's hard i understand that I, like i understand it's hard confronting your friends because uh, when you're a teenager when you're a teenager that's you know that's the time you kind of want to fit in it's a time you want, you know, you want your friends to accept you. You want to be the popular kid in school. You, you want people, you know, you want it to be that popular kid in class. We all did. We all did, right? But it's hard. 
So when people say that, and then, uh, you know, if the other guys are saying it too, maybe some of those guys don't even believe that. Some of those guys are just going along because the uh, quote-unquote alpha in the group, the one who's supposedly the leader of the group, supposedly leader of the group, uh, they're the ones who's kind of controlling everybody and say, hey, I think this way, everyone should think that way, right? Everyone's allowed a difference of opinion. Just because you do something that they don't, doesn't mean that their opinion is better than yours, okay? Okay? It's just hard to actually say that to them. I understand that because I was the same way. It's just hard, okay? Uh, I 100% do not agree with your friends. I don't agree with your friends. Uh, part of me thinks like these days it would be more your parents who would say something like that as opposed to your friends. So... It's a tough situation. And I wish I could give you an answer that say, do this, this, and that, and they'll understand. They probably won't. They won't understand. And then you just have to evaluate to yourself. Are those the type of people that you want to hang out with? You know? That don't support things you love to do. Are those the type of friends you want? And that's the hard part. That's the hard part. Okay? Uh, but but I do wish you good luck. If that's you, or, or, so, or you're talking about somebody... Uh, who is in that situation. Uh, I, I do wish you luck. Um, and then try to find people with, with similar interests as you. You know? In school, I'm sure there are a lot of people who, uh, you know, who are into art and, and like to do those things. You know? But again, easier said than done. Easier said than done. I sympathize. And again, I'm not, I'm not a therapist or anything like that. I'm just a dude who likes to draw. But I also sympathize with your situation. And, and I hope everything works out the best for you. Okay. All right. Ho hopefully, uh, hopefully that answers your question because look, everyone in the chat here right now, they're all into this stuff. I have a million subscribers, right? Now, even though they probably don't watch all my videos, they don't watch all my videos. Uh, what's it called? They don't watch all my uh, videos uh, religiously, as we say. Uh, they were interested enough to cl click subscribe. So there are millions of people who are interested in this kind of content. Okay, so just because those one or two aren't uh, interested in what you do, that doesn't mean there aren't people who are. There absolutely are many, many people interested in what we do. You just have to go find them. You have to find them. Now, again, the when I say that, it's usually when you hear something like that, it's usually the parents. It's usually the parents are the ones that are are saying this kind of stuff to uh, to the kids, as opposed to. Kids saying that to other kids like that. I, I haven't really heard kids saying that to other kids recently. I thought that kind of went away in the day and age where you could actually do what you want to do these days. But uh, I guess I was wrong. I guess I was wrong. So all the best to you, my friend. All the best to you. All right. I uh, got a little serious there. Let's uh, get unserious. Let's uh, turn the music back on here. All right. Uh, so let's ask, an hopefully, let's see if there's another question here. To answer. Okay, uh, news first. And let me turn on my other camera. And just give me a second, guys, just uh, fixing the other camera. There you go. Let's see here. Next uh, question here. Uh, from my buddy, Reese. My buddy, Reese B. Scott, Red 7. He goes, hey, James. And it's a long question. Let me just open that up. I gave just an idea. What about a series where you initially choose a character to draw and encourage people to draw the same character in their own style while watching you stream your process? And when it comes to the edit of the, the stream, you add their pieces as a reel at the end of credits. From those images, you ask the audience to vote which submission they like the best, and the winner gets to choose the next character everyone has to draw for the next stream. That's a great, that's a great suggestion, man. I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, the worst way people get their requests by earning them and you get to maximize audience engagement with minimal admin effort unlike the old art contemporaries I like that a lot that's a wonderful suggestion there Reese um, I'm wondering if there's a way we could do that without it having to be uh, like I'm, I'm liking the sharing part of what I don't uh, what, what I'm concerned about more is the part where the one who gets the most votes gets to choose. Um, 
Because, of course, there, there's going to be artists here that are more accomplished than others. There's definitely going to be more. Like you, my friend, you're a much, you're, you work professionally, my friend. I know that. You, your work is a, super fantastic. So I want to do it in a way where, or figure out a way where we could do that, but do it in a way where it's not necessarily about the art quality that uh, that person gets to choose. Maybe it could be a random choose. Maybe it could be random. Instead of getting people to vote on who gets to choose the next one, make it just a random draw. Give a, assign everybody a number, and I'll just get one of those random uh, organizers together, random generators. So you don't necessarily have to uh, be the best artist, but what you could be is just participate, which I want would want you to do. That makes it a little bit more uh, inclusive, as we say, inclusive, where you know, it's not just the best artist because Reese, you might win every week for all I know. Yeah, <laughs> Reese, yeah, I know you're really, Reese. You're gonna win every week. Uh, make it makes it more inclusive for other artists that even though maybe their art's not the best uh, comparatively to the other people on the stream, they still have that opportunity, and then they'll still be more inclined to share their work because if they put them up, and that's one thing I noticed, right? That's what I noticed too. A lot of people are very self conscious of their art, so if they put it up and then they lose a the competition. Or they don't get enough votes, or if they don't get any votes, that's even worse, right? If they don't get any votes, if they don't get any votes, there might be a uh, a loss uh, in confidence. Now, again, at the same time, I'm not into I'm not into fifth place trophies, of course, but you know, this is just a fun uh, thing competition. And I want I want to make sure everyone can get a chance. So maybe we'll do something like that. But but it's a great suggestion there, Reese. Definitely a great suggestion. So something like, yeah, let's definitely, uh, let me think about it, all right? Let me think about it. But that's a wonderful suggestion. I'm liking that a lot. This is more of a boxing glove, right? It's more of a boxing glove, guys. More of a boxing glove. There you go. Uh, let's see here. Next. Question, but wonderful suggestion, Reese. Wonderful suggestion. So let's see. Let's see if we do that, okay? Next uh, question here. Angel Bob 1977 says, snacks, sweet or savory? Um, for snacks? Well, I've got keto right now, so, or I'm not keto. I'm on carnivore actually right now. So uh, in choosing a snack, uh, I have to choose a savory one. But at this point, I would rather a sweet one. So I'm going to go sweet there, a sweet one. Uh, sharks, great white or hammerhead? Uh, great white is more, I won't say it's more fierce, but it's uh, definitely the more common. So I'm going to go hammerhead because it's different. Different? Move a, movies, cinema or home viewies? viewies? Home viewies? Do you guys have home viewies? You have home viewies? But um I would say I'm a I'm a cinema guy. Especially, especially, guys, especially in uh, a comedy. Comedy is way like a hundred times better in the movie theater. If it's funny. That's the number one thing. If it's funny. If it's funny. Oh, Mar Mario's on a predator diet. Nice. Are you like seriously, bro? You on, you on carnivore also? I'm on carnivore right now. I'm on carnivore. I'm eating liver because liver is king. <laughs> Boar. <laughs> I always wanted to say that on stream. Uh, I'm watching too much liver king recently. Um, liver king's not carnivore, by the way. He eats carbs. But um, liver is king. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, man. Carnivore diet. I'm uh, One thing I'm uh, lacking, though, I do need more organ meat. I need to eat more organ meat. Uh, for sure. So I'm. I got. I'm gonna go to my store. I'm gonna try to find it if I could. Uh, uh, but not raw like him. Yeah, I won't eat it raw. We're cooking it. We're cooking the liver. I'm telling you. Yeah, cooking the river. I've been eating some liver recently, guys. I'm eating some liver recently, and um, I was trying to do it in a way because when I was a kid, I'll admit to you guys, when I was a kid, I hated liver. I absolutely hated liver. Couldn't stand it. Maybe it was just the way my mom cooked it. But uh, now uh, I'm cooking myself, and then you know I've been seeing some uh, tricks online where people are like uh, soaking it in milk and stuff like that uh but it's okay 
it's all right. I can eat it. And that's all I can hope for <laughs> at this point. I can eat the liver. So I'm all right. I'm all right. So. Liver king. Liver is king. Okay. Anyway, I forgot what the question was. Oh, so, uh, so especially comedies, especially comedies. When you watch a funny comedy in front with a whole bunch of people who laugh at the same time, that is a great time at the movies, my friends. That is that is amazing, amazing time at the movies. Movies, you know, amazing time at the movies, guys. Amazing, amazing time at the movies. So, uh, definitely uh, in cinema. Like even even when you go watch when you watch Endgame, you guys know this. Uh, you know when you go watch Endgame with people who haven't been spoiled. Oh man. When you experience those things for the first time with a crowd, everyone gasping, oh, 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 yay. That's, that's fun. That, that's an impression of me at the movies, by the way. Yay. Oh, yeah. Yay. That's me at the movies, by the way. Oh, Mario, that's not a real uh, carnivore diet. Then you eat vegetables. Eat your vegetables no i believe carnivore though um they they do suggest fruit on the carnivore but i'm actually doing a more hardcore uh, carnivore diet for now just for now i, I will uh, get, start including some i'm probably going to start by including some fruit back into the diet first and then uh, bring the vegetables back afterwards like like guys for them for me when i'm trying, I'm trying to lose weight now it's not to look good I'm, I'm actually just trying to get this excess uh fat off my uh physique just try to get some excess fat off the physique while I'm working out. Um, uh, so once that's done, uh, you know, I got to work on my heart. I'm an older dude, man. I'm an older dude. I can't take all this cholesterol for long. So it definitely won't be a long-term thing. I'm just trying to jumpstart uh, the fat loss a little bit here. So, uh, And finally, what's cooler, pirates or ninjas? You tell me in the chat. Pirates or ninjas? Pirates or ninjas? I'm going to go ninja. Yeah, ninja. Ninjas will be pirates all day long. Am I right? Am I right, guys? Ninjas will be pirates any day of the week. I would go. Who would make the argument? Who would make an argument that uh, a, a pirate would beat a ninja in a fight? Anyone of you make a make an argument? Pirate would beat a ninja. I, I'm open to it if you have a good argument. Yeah, I'm definitely open to hearing if you if you feel that way. Uh, but uh, anyway, oh, Care Bear Comics brings up a great point here. It says ninjas because they can be turtles. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Fantastic. So again, guys, this one's going a little bit faster. I'm I'm, I'm going to try to finish this in 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, so once I'm at a point where I feel like I'm almost there, we are going to do a rapid fire. Okay. As I do this at the end of every stream. Or or day of streaming, uh, <laughs> Matty Wolf Eight says pirates will will win because ninjas don't exist. <laughs> there you go. And uh, Kieran says pirates can release the kraken. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Um, so uh, let me just get my knuckles reference here. I kind of want to draw the shoes. Uh, I can draw the shoes, but you know me, I'm a comic artist. I don't like drawing feet. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I don't draw feet. It gets covered by rocks. How can I draw feet when they're always covered by rocks and clouds and stuff? Um. So. Okay. Okay. So uh, we're gonna do a rapid fire, guys. Okay. So we're gonna do a rapid fire question and answer in a few minutes. But I will see if there's any more questions here in the uh, community chat. Here he goes. Uh, Mike Mike Russell says, uh, because uh, I, I'm on a carnivore diet, he goes, do you eat the liver with some fava beans and a nice chianti? <laughs> First of all, I don't drink. Secondly, uh, beans I can't have on this diet, unfortunately. So the answer is no, unfortunately. Uh, the answer is no. So. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Uh boy, that's the Silence of the Lambs uh, reference there, my friends. Silence of the Lambs reference. There you go. Now, uh, so I'm going to start uh, adding in some smaller details. But why don't we go ahead and do that right now? So if you have a question for me, 
You no longer have to go. This is the rapid fire que uh, question and answer portion. Uh, we do this every day when I'm about to finish up on a, a day of streaming. Uh, we do rapid fire. So go ahead and in the uh, YouTube chat, now is your time in the chat to ask me some questions. So if you have a question, go for it, my friends. If you have a question, go ahead and throw it in the chat. You don't have to throw it in the community tab anymore. Now's the time to ask me a question. And if I see it, I will answer it. Or if I uh, want to answer it, I will answer it. I won't say if I see it. Sometimes I see questions. I just don't want to answer. <laughs> there you go. As I draw these last little bits here, uh, little bits of detail. And, and again, guys, tomorrow I probably will go back once I've drawn, for, uh, done drawing the last character. So I, I do plan on adding uh, two more characters here. So you could... Um, you could uh, definitely, uh, you know, you could probably guess the two that I'm going to draw here. Again, there's two more I plan on drawing. And then I'm going to do like a um, finishing up the drawing portion. Well, I'll, I'll go back and I'm going to just uh, add some detail and stuff to this uh, particular drawing here. So let's go ahead. Uh, any questions here, guys? No questions? No questions. Look at that. No questions here. I think I answered all your questions. Uh, CT, are you open to doing another collab with Popcross? I answered this yesterday. Are you sure? Absolutely. Though, um, probably not immediately. Again, shout out to my buddy Popcross doing some fantastic stuff. on One of the most consistent uh, artists I've ever seen on this platform. He, he, Without fail, without fail, every week, Monday, Friday, without fail, uh, that dude knows what he's doing. So good for him. Um, Let's see here. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, feet are very underrated. There you go. Um, uh, Luby Lobster, Capullo or Finch? Oh, you uh, love both of them. Absolutely love both of them. But uh, I, I draw way more in a, a David Finch style than a Greg Capullo style. So I will go David Finch uh, there. Mm, let's see here. Uh, can you do a Five Nights at Freddy's and Marvel style webmaster? Says maybe one of these days. I think I answered that earlier. Uh, next question. A heel says drawing feet is complicated. It can be. It can be. It can. And to be honest, guys, drawing feet's not hard. It's just getting the balance right and everything. But it's a very comic thing to do to hide the feet, and I don't know why. Like, because because layers like myself, guys like David, we could draw feet. Of course, we could draw feet. Just uh, for some reason, we just don't. It's just a comics thing. Just a comics thing. Uh, let's see here. Can you only have one French curve? Or a ellipse? Um, are you are you talking about recess one French curve? You mean do I own only one French curve? Ellipse? Uh, no, you can, there's different types of uh, French curves and ellipses. There there definitely is. Even the one I buy, it comes in a pack of three. But if you're asking if I personally have more than one, I do because they they break often. Yeah, it's very easy to break those those ellipses that I have. So, oh, and in terms of like uh, circle templates, I got I got a ton of those. Tons, like every angle you could imagine. I, I got tons and tons of those, okay? Uh, Mr. Broken, what's one plus one? Depends on who you talk to. The answer should be two. Should be two. It should be two. But other people uh, come up with different answers. You never know these days. Um, Uriel Val says, uh, one day will you draw Dude Perfect as superheroes? A big fan of uh, Dude Perfect's uh, current, current uh, content. But probably not. I, again, like I mentioned earlier, I'm probably not going to draw uh, YouTubers uh, for a while. Okay. Next question. I see. Uh, uh, Abinav says pizza or burger. Oh, that's a good question. Oh, because I'm on um, because I'm on uh, carnivore right now. Let's go burger, but just the patty. Okay. So we're going to go burger today. Um, Uriel says, can you combine the rock as Kratos? Well, that's not too far off. Like, all he really needs is the face paint, and he's already Kratos, right? Pretty much. All he needs is the face paint. So, let's see here. Uh, uh, ch -ch -ch. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Knuckle Sandwich, we've been staying on Twitter after all the changes come into effect and having to pay $8 US a month. I'm telling you right now, if I could, if paying $8 will get me a blue check mark, I'd pay it. <laughs> I, i'm very indifferent on social media guys so you know it is what it is uh so 
I, I hardly use my Twitter anyway, but I'm not going to deactivate my Twitter or anything like that. Let's be honest. I don't even have many followers on Twitter. I only have like a good, I don't even have 10,000 followers on Twitter. I only have like uh, 8,000 or so. But if, if it's only $8 to, to get a blue check mark, I'd do that. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on. Okay. Uh, greetings from Indonesia, my friend Matt. I miss Indonesia. Again, oh, Bali is amazing. Bali is amazing. And when I was in Jakarta, I had a wonderful time in Jakarta. And shout out to everybody at the Indonesia Comic Con for uh, having me there a few years ago. Again, that was the last, that was the last uh, tri uh, major trip. Uh, I had with my wife and probably the greatest mem one of the greatest memories I've had with my wife was in uh, Indonesia in Bali. And, uh, it will always have a special place in my heart. I, I, I do hope to go back one of these days. I would love to go back. I would love to bring my kids and, and show them uh, the places that uh, I went with their mom over there, but memories to last a lifetime in, uh, in Bali and in, in uh, Indonesia as a whole in Indonesia. So there you go. Uh, 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 Hale says, Among Us in a Marvel style. I did do that before. But again, just because I do something once, like, like this uh, Sonic, like I did Sonic before in a Marvel style before, doesn't mean I can't do it again. So I probably will do it again. And, and my time is running down here, guys, but I'm just going to add just a bit more stuff here. Okay, so next question here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, window. What does that mean? All right. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, Risa asks, you can have one or the other, French curve or ellipsis? That's a good question. Um, if you, it depends on when you ask me, okay? If you would have asked me before, I'm going to go, because these days, I'll be honest, I don't really use both. But if I had to choose, if you were to twist my arm today and ask me which one I would take, I would actually go ellipsis. Ellipses, circle templates. I would take that over the French curve. Now, if you would have asked me that, like a like even like maybe two years ago, it would have been French curve. But today, today, um, I would uh, definitely go um, ellipses because that's the thing. Circles, guys. Circles are the hardest thing to freehand. Curves aren't so bad for me. Like they're not great, but I won't say they're not so bad. But circles, that like that's one thing. When you draw a car, guys, when you draw a car. The way, the best part to tell if a drawing is good for a car drawing is look at the wheels. If the wheels look funky, it throws off the whole car. Whole car. So that's why a circle template, especially when you're drawing cars, it's uh, definitely something that, that you want more than, than a, um, than a, what's it called? Than a French curve. Okay. So let's see here. Um, uh, let's see here. No spamming. Yes. Uh, can you draw Adam Sandler as Black Adam? I saw that meme. I saw that meme. <laughs> Black Adam Sandler. I, I saw that meme where Adam Sandler was sitting on the throne as Black Adam. I did see that one. Okay. Since those memes out there uh, already, uh, I don't need to because the memes there already. So. Uh, can I do Venom in a thousand minutes, Webmaster? Well, I will definitely be doing Venom sooner than later, guys. I have this uh, Venom mech Lego that I've been dying to draw. I might be doing that sooner than later, maybe even next week. But I bought this lemon, uh, lemon uh, Venom Lego mech. It's actually really, really cool. I, I like it a lot. So I definitely want to uh, do that uh, sooner than later. So I will be doing a Venom drawing sooner than later. I, I'm not sure about a thousand minutes. But uh, at least uh, two days worth of drawing for that. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Decri describe Canada in five words or less. Let's see here. Number one, um, poutine, maple syrup. <laughs> um, let's see. Hockey. And uh, one unknown, lacrosse. Okay. Oh, actually, I'll take that la lacrosse back. Reese has the better one. Sorry. There you, there you go. Those are the five. Thank you, Reese, for the third, the fifth one. I should have known that. I'm Canadian. Sorry about that. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I like that. Poutine, maple syrup, 
hockey, and sorry. That that's actually Canada in a nutshell, right there. Canada in a nutshell. Those those uh, three. Um, let's see here. Uh, Jugger Knuckles kind of looks like it. You don't do video game tribute. Maybe one day. Let's see. Uh, uh, the gamer artist. Will you drop Black Panther? Panther will kind of forever. I will have a Black Panther video. That is actually my next video, Black Panther video, but it's not a Wakanda Forever video. It's just me drawing this Black Panther mech, which was a lot of fun to do. It's a very simple video, and you will see that sooner or later. Either today or tomorrow, that video will be out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Egyptians um, in Marvel style, Egyptian gods. Um, not, not right away. Uh, let's see here. Uh, God of War. Some people want me to draw God of War. We'll see. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see here. What is your biggest inspiration influence on drawing? Um, in terms of right now, my biggest influence is you guys right now and, uh, having fun. That's my biggest influence right now. Having fun, uh, drawing. So can you all draw all the Batman sidekicks? Maybe, maybe one day we'll see. We'll see. You know, I just bought a, uh, I mean, you can't hear me. I just bought a uh, a DC character manual book. It would be fun to go through that and draw everything there, but maybe not right away. Okay, guys. So uh, as soon as I find my ugly eraser, I definitely need a new eraser. I keep losing my ugly eraser. I was on the floor. Okay. So there you go, guys. This is. I'm probably gonna add more detail to this tomorrow. I'll probably, you know, once it's one of those things where once, once I get the drawing done, I'm going to go over the whole thing and kind of fill in the gaps, as we say, uh, go and add more details. Cause there are little things that I could probably add more to here to make it work. So, uh, we will see how that goes. Okay, guys. So. Thank you guys, all of you guys who follow me today on all three live streams. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Uh, we will be back tomorrow to finish off this particular drawing here. We have uh, two more characters uh, to draw. Mario says, uh, great work, Sonic Buff Force. There you go. There you, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me on the stream. This is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Again, tomorrow, if you want to ask me a question, make sure you do that in the community tab. And whatever you're working on right now, hopefully you're having a great time. Whatever you're planning on doing today or tomorrow, make it a good one. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Uh, take care of yourselves. Hi, Han Duran and uh, Luby and uh, all of you guys in the chat. Thank you guys for chatting and for watching with me. You guys are the best. Before I go, give me a high five here. High five here. High five here. High five there. We didn't do this in one. High five there. My name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing, my friends. Keep drawing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.